Hi everyone, it's Leanne and welcome to day two of our 10 day projects and um, the second project that I decided to do was line drawing. Now line drawing um, is actually I've been doing from this botanical line drawing book and that's it there if anyone's interested in buying it. And it has all sorts of things. The front of the book has leaves um, from certain plants. And uh, it tells you how to draw them. Like it will tell you to start off with this. It's green, this colour. And it will tell you to start off with this colour. And then where to put the next colour. And then the next colour. And then until you get the end one which is this. So it's just a progression of lines uh, and drawings to get to this point here, a seedling. And there's a willow, uh, same thing. And then we come to flowers as well. And I was doing the chamomile which is that one right there. So as you can see it progresses. This is in colour green. And it shows you what to draw first, then it tells you what to draw second, then third, then fourth, and so forth, till you get this end picture here. So you can see that. So that's what I'm using as a guide to draw, help me to draw. And I've already drawn or drew the first one, which is chamomile. And there it is there, the chamomile. So... That's where I'm getting my inspiration from today. Now we've drawn the chamomile. This is an interesting one. This is the dahlia. Um, I'm very much in, interested in the roses. I have done a rose before. We could practice that one. Um, it looks rather nice. Uh, the English roses. There's a sunflower. There's a protea. Oh. Excuse me. This here is a fuchsia. Now, who doesn't remember fuchsias from the 60s and 70s? My mother had them prolifically right around the house. And they came in different colours pinks and purples and, you know, maroon, those sorts of colours. And they were quite beautiful. This is a yucca. This looks easy to draw, so I'm going to do it. So, all we're going to do today is draw some line drawings of some plants, flowers and leaves, and then we're going to colour them in with some watercolour paints, uh, watercolour crayons, sorry, and maybe some uh, watercolour pencils. I'll find them and we can start on them. Right, it says to start off with... this and that's all I'm going to do and then it has some little butts on the top like that yeah so it tells us to start off that way <clears throat> and then we have to draw some sort of shape this right and there's that you probably can't see let me just see if I can get up to the camera so that's what we're drawing when it's finished I'll show you so then we will come up the side it says hmm, maybe too high and then around the bottom and this one here is up the side like that and then it says to 
do this one here. And then this one here. And then one up there like that. Right, so that's what we've got so far. Okay, and then it says to do... Actually, I'm going to take the peak off that. It's not so high. It looks like a bishop's hat. Yeah, something like that. Okay, and then it says to do some lines. Here. And here. And here and here. And some out here. And some here. Right. And that's it. That's the last step. Right. So you can see what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And that's a yucca. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> so let's write its name. Yucca. Okay, so that's what we've got. The chamomile and the yucca. I'm not sure what colour they would be. Um, I'd have to look it up, wouldn't I? Which I may do. Alright, let's have a look at... Uh, oh my, don't you just love the lily? Let's draw a lily. I'm just going to pull this book out. Bit, flatten it a bit. Let's draw a lily. Now, a lily... Who doesn't remember lilies as a child either? Alright, so it says to do that. Then the next step is to draw a big V. A V. Like that. Then it says to connect the top and then it says to come out and draw a, that and then we're going to come back like that and I can see that I may move that line a little bit to a better better position Let me just see. Yeah, like that. That's better. And then what has it got? It's got some lines here and some lines there. And then it's got um let me see what that looks like. Right, so I'm going to Go here like this, and that will go over to the corner like that. And then it's got something like that, and like that. Right, I think that's fine. Right, so that's a colour lily. Colour lily. There we go. So I'll show you what I've done. There it is there. Colour lily. Okay. Let's do one more. Something that looks very, very hard to do. They all look hard. <laughs> but 
but this makes it really, really simple. How about an evening primrose? Right, let's just do the one more. Um, so we start off with a circle in the center. Where's my other rubber? Okay, so I've got a circle. Then uh, we go out and fan up to something like that. And then we're going to go out like this. I think I rub that out because somehow I think it needs to be bigger. Okay, that's better. That's much, much better. Okay. Okay, then it says to right do this. And then this one. Like that. Right. Then it says to do fan out some little marks here in the flower itself, the petal, and fan them out. Like this. Right. It's not too bad. And you can do some more little ones in between it says. There we go. And voila. There you go. Evening Primrose. Let me just write its name. Evening Evening Primrose. There we go. <laughs> that was a simple one to do. I'm not sure what it looks like. Sort of there. <laughs> okay. I might just move this line. I'm not happy with it. And this is the whole beauty of line drawing, is you can move it. You can rub out things and you can start all over again. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and I don't mind that at all, that's good. There we go. So I just finished, fixed up that line a tiny bit, looks better. Okay, so there's four great line drawings from our botanical line drawing book. By Peggy Dean, I think it is, yep, Peggy Dean. And we've got their name their scientific name and I'm not sure of the colours. We can look them up and find out what colours they are. So what I'm going to do now is get my um, <clears throat> pencils or crayons, whatever I can find that's easiest. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have got some supplies with me. I've got my water brush pen, I've got a spray bottle and I've got some plastic plates which come in handy when uh, you are actually um, painting. 
because you can put a few samples around there and then go back to it when you need to, like a ballot. Um, let me just fix this mat up. It's turning all over the place. Right. And I've got some water crowns here, some washable oil pastels, and some pencils. I thought I'd start off with some pencils. I haven't used these for quite a few years. So I am going to try and have a go. Now cam chamomile is actually white and yellowy. Um, so I suppose it's good to have a white in there with a, a yellow. That's a very dark yellow. Um, and we need some green stems. Take those two greens. I'm just going to try these because I haven't tried them for years. So let's see how we go. So the chamomile is actually uh, whitey yellow um, green stems. Let's start with the green stems because. Um, actually, let me do, I'm just going to get a sharpener, a sharpener, 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 here we go, here's one, I'm just going to sharpen this, this is so blunt, I must have used it at some stage, alright, it's not very helpful. That sharpener. I must have another one somewhere. Better one. Alright. That would do, I suppose. Okay, so now I'm going to have to. Now that is really blunt still. Very hard to get these um, coloured pencils with a fine point when they're watercolour crayons. I don't know why. That's a little bit better. That'll do. Right. I'm going to put... No, I can't use it. I was going to use my light over the top, but I can't do it. So here we go. I'm going to start anyway. And all I'm going to do, now I'm not too fussed about or worried about the pencils, uh, the pencil lines that is, that I drew. That That is really not, not a great concern to me. So if that worries you, um, find a way of rubbing them out. Yep. <coughs> So let's see how we go with this one. Let me just. Right. Now I really should have a wet wipe, and I'll have to get one. So let's see how we go with this. Now this is watercolor um, paper I'm using. Right, that looks rather nice to me. Bit hard for you to see, but trust me, it's good. And let me try this one. This is a different green. And at this stage, I'm just doing the edge with the colour. I'm not colouring the whole lot in so now I'm just testing it so bear with me. I should have had a practice run. <laughs> I didn't. I'm just going for it and I don't mind that either but I do see where we need to Right, there we go. 
oops, can you see that? There. Two different greens. Now I really like this green here, so we'll use that one. So let's just do this other leaf. And I think that that's a success. That is really nice. Okay, it's not too bad. I like that green. Okay, so I keep putting my lid on there. Right, at this stage we don't need our um, plastic plate. Now let's have a go at the flowers. Now I'm not going to colour the whole lot in, but maybe I should to test it. Yeah, alright, we'll colour it all in. So let's use our pencil. This is a bit of a darker yellow. You can get some beautiful yellows. So I'm going to have to go get some wet wipes, so will you excuse me? Okay, we've resumed. I've got my wet wipes and I'm going to see. Oops, I dropped a bit of water there. Let's see how that goes. Right, I am happy with that. Let's do the next one. Okay, so there we go. Let's see how we go with this. These water brushes are really fantastic. Um, they make everything so simple for people who have not got any clue how to draw or paint. They are absolutely wonderful how they come up with these wonderful ideas for everyone to get. There. Let's have a look at it. Wow, there we are. So doesn't that really look lovely? Now I am not too concerned about the pencil lines because as I am going to um, use a fine marker and I'm going to fix up those little bits that are pencil lined. Um, so I'm not too fussed about that. All right, let's get our green. And do our stems. Mm -hmm. 
Let me get it. Then we can use a water brush. Just be careful with them because you can really the color can just really run. Okay, now I'm liking that. I'm not too worried about that other color green on the leaf. Um, I think that's rather okay. Now, I'm just going to oh, actually let's see if I can get some white on my plate here and use a pen. Put some. some water with that and let's see if we can get some white out of it. Okay, let's see. Right, so the white's really not coming up. So you could use a different white rather than the pen pencils. And I am going to um, use something else on the other other ones okay so that's how simple it actually is let me just wipe the brush very very simple now i am going to blow away with it or heat, use a heat gun and i am going to dry it I'm just going to get my new pen. I bought a new pen for myself. Now let me see where it is. Not there. Let me see. It's here. Is it here? It's not that one. It's not that one. Now, where is it? Oh dear. Have I lost it? Let me see in this little thing. Not in there. Wonder where it is. Oh dear. And keep looking, don't panic, here it is, found it, <laughs> it's just a pen, just one of these art line pens, fine, point four, um, okay, so I've done that, so I need the heat gun, let me see if I can connect it, I do have a spot right there in front of me, There we go, that didn't take long, did it? Right, now, I'm just going to go over my word, chamomile, with this new pen. There we go, like that, chamomile, and I'm also going to use it for some dots 
inside the circle a little bit there and there right might do a few more here group them up a bit more and then we've got the lines haven't we through the plants and we really should do that with the liner as well let's do this one that and that's what we've got can you see it let me just see if you can see it there we go <coughs> oh excuse me I've still got the flu I can't get rid of it I'm so sorry Okay, so there's our first one. That was pretty simple and fun. Now, I'm just going to go around the edges to see if, if I like it. I'll only do the little one. I like that. Mm, rather looks quite nice. So why not? What do you think? A bit overboard? Just a touch. Okay, so I don't think I'll use that again. I'll only use this on the highlights, like the bits in the middle. But I still like it. It looks fabulous. Alright, so the yucca is actually white and yellow. Once again, I must have picked yellow and white plants, but this one's a really nice pink. So white, yellowy, and green stems. Well, let's try something else this time. Let's try the crayons. I'll put the pencils back. Let's put the pencils back. Mmm, I love the smell of pencils. Okay. Let's put our pencil back and our rubber. We've got our watercolour here. Let's try um, some yellow. And some white. And some dark green. Oh, they don't need dark green because there's no stems. Let's just go with the yellow and the white then. Okay. Now I'm sure these are watercolour. They don't seem to be watercolour. That's strange. Let me just see for a minute. I really believe these were watercolours. Let me just see. If you go directly to it. There mustn't be. That is very strange. I'm going to clear my brush. Okay. 
Okay, and we'll go with these ones. This yellow one. Oops, that one came out. Right, let's put some yellow down. There, and then we've got some white as well. These are twistable watercolour crayons. Let's see how we go with this. Much better. Not sure what those other ones are for. I really believe they were watercolour. I have used them. Maybe they're not at their peak. <clears throat> I'm just going to move that down closer to me. Okay, I really do like this yellow. This yellow here is very pretty. Right. I've added some water to it already. Over here. Then I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to use the white. See if it makes any difference whatsoever. There we go. So let's get out. All right. Okay. Let's wipe our brush off that terrible first yellow that almost ruined it. Let's see if we can do white. Right, that's not bad. Let's see if we can do a little bit of white on it as well. Well, I'm liking this one, this white. It is working. You mightn't be able to see it on camera very well, but trust me, there's some white there. Right, so I think that that's good. Let's give it a bit of a okay, that's pretty much dry, pretty quick. I'm happy with that. Let's just go over our word yucca. If that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Maybe someone can correct me. Yuka? Yaka? Yuka? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so I have to concentrate here. Let me just get those stems. No, what do you call them? The stigmas? Or do we call them something else? Not sure. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to go overboard like I did on the first plant. <laughs> there we go. There's a yucca, yucca. Yeah. These will be good in our journals because you can cut them out like a little picture. You can put a frame around it and then you can put them in our journals and you've got the name, the scientific name. Right, Kalala Lily. Now the Kalala Lily I looked up there, there's quite a few colours but I really was impressed with the real pinky colours. Let's try um, these washable pastels. It's got a beautiful pink here, uh, and we'll use the green on the stem as well. Maybe a red too, a ready pinky one. 
because in some areas they're uh, darker. So let's go here with some pink. There we go. Do some red. And we'll do the green. There we go. Let's put them back in. So we keep our desk tidy. Right, let's go in with our brush. Now, that still is a little bit yellowy from that terrible crayon that I thought was a watercolour crayon. I still think they are, but it may be off. It's not, um, what's the word? Yeah, they may be off. They mightn't be working the best. Let's start with the pink. And this is quite a pretty pink. Yes, it is. And I've already got water on it. Added water. Right, Let's add a little bit more down the bottom there. Right, let's continue. Have my son, grandson, the weekend. Fabulous, poor little thing. He's so funny, so happy. His teething has stopped for a while, so he's a lot happier. He has been very miserable lately. Poor little thing. Okay, you know what? Right here I'm going to use some red. Let's see how we go with the red. some red. I might just do the bit in the middle that's red. Let's try the pink again. Right. So I'm just mixing the two at the moment together. Let's add some more red. So I'm just mixing the two. Alright, it's not too bad. I like it. Now I've just put some water in there because I want it to be very watery. Right, now I'm just going to blow over it. And I'm just going to go around the edge just slightly tinge it 
little bit of red mixed in like that. Just going to mix the two. Like that. That's not too bad. I'm just going to use some more pink now. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Oh, where are we? Here we are. A bit hard to tell, isn't it? Um, so now we can go in with our green and do our stem. Let me just get rid of this pink. Green, green, green. Here we go. Right now, okay, I'm just going to dry it. And then I'm going to go in a little bit darker around the side of it, just a touch. There we go. I think that's finished. Let me just wipe my brush clean. And I will give you a look, a squizzy. There it is there. Now, let's just do our Kalala Lily in black. There we go, Kalala Lily. So that's what we've got so far. Right, now let's see if we can do this last one, Evening Primrose. And once again, it's yellow <laughs> and white. So we're going to use our yellow and white that we've got left over here. I'm going to go for it. This is a pretty yellow. This one's very bright. I like the pastels or the oil pastels I should say so these flowers are not outrageously colored they're all what are they yellow and whites and greens one pink one trust me to get the bland colors anyway Yep, so I had my grandson on the weekend, it was fun. He's a lot happier, we had music on. Because I play the tambourine all the time, um, I um, have bought him, his, his father plays the guitar, but uh, so I bought him a guitar, a little ukulele child one, a toy, but he strums it like his dad does so he's pretty cluey um, so he's um, plays a tambourine I bought him one and the sort of music I listen to is from my vintage of course you know oh well I listen to um, Warrimpi, which is an Aboriginal band, um, 
I listen to, oh my gosh, Gordon Lightfoot, you know, that old style type music. Actually, I'll just dry that. some touches of white in it, the evening primrose, I will do the center. I'm just going to keep putting some layers on it. Center white. more white on the center and on the plant petals just build up some layers white in the center. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more on and then that'll do, I think. Okay, that seems to be good. I don't mind that. Okay, I'm just going to clean my brush. Put the lid back on. I'm just going to do the circle. to do this All right. and I think that that can also be done around the edge uh, to highlight the plant some more because or the flower I should say because it's a big plant So I think that we can go around the edge. It's a big flower, just one big flower. So I think we can go around the edges. And that's what I'm going to do. Like that. Okay, so that is not too bad. Right, I think that that's pretty good. So let's do our evening primrose.
There we go. There we go. So that is line drawing. <laughs> so I'm going to cut all of these out and we can also um, let me see if I've got a cutter here. Yep, I've got one. I found one. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll just move that over there. Now, this is watercolor paper. And we can cut them out. And cut them out whatever size you want. I'm just going to cut them out big at this stage so I can downsize them when I need to. And these are all projects that can go into your junk journals with some line drawing. Oops, I can take that out now. There we go, you go down there. Alright, so there we go. So there's our beautiful line drawing cards that we can use in our junk journal. Uh, you can do almost anything with them. You can, as I said, photo frame them with whatever you want. Um, here we go, I'm dropping stuff now. I'm just going to move these away. <laughs> They're in my way. Yes, yeah, so you can put them in junk journal. They've got the scientific name, which is handy to have um, because, you know, people want to know what they are. And we used uh, oil pastels. We used watercolored pencils. I couldn't get those crayons to work. And we also used, um, what, what are these? These ones here. These are Twisty Sticks crayons. Crayola. There we go. And there is all the plants we did. So I'm looking forward to putting them into my junk journal. I'll downsize them or cut them up later on, the size I want. And we can use them. We may even back them onto some paper, fancy paper. Not sure. But we'll work something out. So that's our next day two project for our junk journals. Um, thanks for joining me. Give it a try, line drawing. Maybe buy a book on line drawing. That was botanical line, line drawing. There are other ones you can buy as well. And see you next time in the next video. Bye for now. Have a great day.